Welcome to Fallen State TV. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. I absolutely appreciate it. I did a YouTube video, a commentary on Beyonce during the halftime of the Super Bowl. It was one of the most evil things I've seen happen in a public way. And I received a phone call from the Black Student Union at Trade Tech College here in Los Angeles wanting to talk with me about my YouTube video. I have with me tonight Andre Shirley. Also, Michelle Watson is here, and we want to have an open and honest discussion about Beyonce and the whole race issue. Andre goes to school at Trade Tech, and Michelle is a community activist. Do you work with Black Lives Matter or, or the Black Student Union, or both? Both. Both? Both, and also the Los Angeles Black Workers Center. Oh, okay. What do you guys disagree with me about? Let's go down the list. <laughs> Well, let's start off with how you described Beyonce and her performance. When you said that white people should have gotten up and walked away. Why? Why is that a problem? Race relations is something that needs to be talked about. It needs to be addressed. It has held this country back and held my people back for far too long. And until we can, as a society, sit down and understand what's plaguing us, we will never be able to move forward, ever. But she wasn't talking about it at the, at the uh, football game. No, she, she was she bringing a, attention to the fact that there is lack of value on but, black lives but here most in America. People, most people, when they go to the Super Bowl, they're taking their families, their kids are with them. Yes. They want to go there and just have fun. They don't yes. want to hear black people complaining about so-called racism at a football game. So-called If Beyonce racism. wanted to talk about it, she should have called together a meeting and say, hey, I'd like to bring everybody together and let's have a discussion about uh, so-called racism in America. Racism is think? not yeah. private. Have we asked for this I'm conversation. Sorry? How many times have we asked for a conversation about race, race relations. Uh, I have a dream that one day my children will be judged by the continent. Well, black people been talking about racism for 50 years did Harriet or so? Tubman have to constantly go back before a conversation? We are at a point in society where us as young people, we're tired of seeing it. See we're what? tired of hearing. I'm tired of walking down the street in my hoodie and being afraid because I just saw a police officer. Not being afraid because there's some people down on the corner that I don't know. Not being afraid because my next door neighbor is always in his garage. I don't know what he's doing. But being afraid because the people who are charged to protect and serve my life, right. people who are taking my tax dollars to have a job to protect and so serve my life. So tell me about life, Beyonce. Let me ask you about Beyonce. Beyonce is. 34 years old. Yes. She's married. Yes. She has a daughter. Yes. And Isn't first of all, she out doing this booty dance, half naked, uh, dressed in black, looking like a thug. Is that a good example for, and I'll ask you this, Michelle, is that a good example for other young girls? And should a married mother act that way in public? Beyonce is a woman. And women have sexuality and femininity, right? And so that's where the style comes from. If, if it's okay with her husband, uh, then it's, it's, no one should ever have anything to say. Is she a good example for other, yes. ch other young girls to see an older woman acting that way? Yes. That is a good example? Yes, because that's not their status. They know they're, you are a, from a baby, a child, a little girl, a teenager, they're not a woman. Right, um, and they know that. But just because they see a woman in its full manifestation doesn't mean that it'll negatively affect them. Would you want your mother out doing the hoochie mama dance, half naked, dressed in black, where the world is looking at her? Everyone is entitled to a good time. <laughs> no, <laughs> but would you want your mother to do that? I would. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Would you want your mother to do that? To have fun in a black dress no, you're in, not. on national television? Half naked doing the hoochie mama dance. Beyonce was not half naked. Yes, you are. But what, you didn't answer the question. Would you want your mother doing that? Depends on how old she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it does. <laughs> so, in my opinion, so heck. So, would you want your 34 year old mother doing that? Why not? Like I said, everyone is entitled to their expression of themselves. Is that a She's yes not or no? just yes. It's a yes. That's a yes. It's a yes. You will want your mother doing that. It's a yeah. My 34 year old mother. Yes. <laughs> It's in the self-expression. Uh, what is it that she's trying to express? She's trying to express, for one, uh, the powerfulness of the black woman and um, the black movement. But that's not power to go out and, and hoochie mama dance half naked. That's no power in that. That's a weakness. What is a hoochie Women mama dance? Women are doing dance? that in, in bars and clubs every day and night. Don't you think? Showing one's physical uh, beauty dance is a weakness. is a part of art. But not half naked in the public. Let me ask this, Beyonce uh, promoted Black Lives Matter, and we all know that Black Lives Matter is an agitative, evil group of people who could care less about black people. We do not She all also, know that. let me finish, and then I'll let you respond. Is, she also promoted, hold on, hold on, I'll let you respond. She also promoted the Black Panther yes. Party, and we know that Black Panther uh, promoted killing cops, and they killed at least two police officers that I'm aware of. And in Chicago, black people were afraid of the Black Panthers during those days because they were so radical. She also promoted Malcolm X yes. uh, at a Super Bowl game. Yes. And you guys are okay with that, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. let me ask this Promote then. my people. Next year, I'm asking the KKK to go and perform a cross burning mm. dressed in hoods white sheets and hoods at the Super Bowl uh, halftime. Are you okay with that too? We live in America where you have freedom of speech. If that's the idiocracy you want to promote, then- So you would be okay with that, right? That. I, I would personally be a part of the crowd that's protesting it. As you said, white people should, should have gotten up and walked out on Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar's performances. I would be that black person that would bring that protest to your front door Why? and ask you Why? how, if how, how if as a black can promote person, could you promote an organization that judged your ancestors on the color of their skin and not the content of their character, never even asked them a simple question, but because they were solely black, put them in chains and make them work on a field. And the these KKK are the people didn't do you that. The KKK is a terrorist group, and it's the longest standing and terrorist so group in Los Angeles. Black Lives Matter is not a terrorist group. So let me ask. Black Lives Matter is simply an affirmation to black people that we matter, because we don't see it enough in our community. Nobody tells us, not even our parents sometimes, that we matter. So when we say Black Lives Matter, it's not saying that you don't matter. It's not saying that we matter more than somebody else. It's saying that we matter, and I can tell myself that I matter, just like I can tell myself that I'm beautiful right be, to affirm it to myself so is that a no about the KKK performing you wouldn't support that okay first of all let me get this straight so you <coughs> said the Black Panthers had people scared in Chicago right they had let me they had you guys are people scared to sell drugs in the neighborhood. they had people question, scared to no, prostitute women in that. the hood the Black Panthers gave out they started the free meal program they started WIC, WIC. program yes. which the which the government has Black started to take over because they fed yeah. communities right <laughs> and so when you have the KKK who started things like Halloween where they dress up in masks and go firebomb houses black houses Let's, where they hang people from black trees have parties with black people hanging from trees like strange fruit if you ever touched up on your black history, but you have these KKK ter terrorist uh, organization groups that have tormented black people for years, African people for years, but they are not labeled as a, as a terrorist group. So then you have so, a black group emerging from so the community no? called Black Lives Matter. And no? now we have to be a terrorist group and we're here to rebuild the community, to hit uh, the capitalist white, supreme, white supremacist society right in its face and stop it and say, hey, this is not right. Okay, so let me, let me go back to the question. Is that a no for the KKK performing next year? Only if you're on the cross. I'm sorry? Only if you're on the cross. <laughs> I'm on the cross? Yeah. And then you'll be okay with it? Yeah. Why are you so mean? I'm not mean. Why would you want to put me on the cross because we disagree? Because Where's the love in that? Where's, Where's the your love, love in Beyonce? You? Where's your love in that? Let me ask you this conversation. <laughs> I want Where's to go. your love for Trayvon Martin, who didn't even do anything? Where's your love for Ezel Ford? You, he Let criminal. me ask you this. Omar Obrego. Hold on, hold on. You said that Black Lives Matter make black people feel worthy and beautiful? 
No, I didn't say we make people feel. I said is it, it is a positive affirmation to ourself. They it's, affirm you? Yes. And what do they affirm about you? It affirms my being and the positivity in my being and the purpose in my being. That's you didn't feel that black way prior black to Black Lives Matter? You did not feel that way? No. Why not? Because the, the way that society is set up, it makes me feel that as a woman, there, there are things that I shouldn't have. There's a specific way that I should act. And that because I'm black, my chances of everything is significantly lowered. So your parents did not make you feel worthy while raising you? They told me I was beautiful. And, and they, they told me I was you. smart. And you they didn't told me I them? was important. But did yes, believe I believe them. them but so why do you need Black when, Lives Matter? Because to the way that you are that. treated and what you are told are two different things. My mom told me I was beautiful now and I was smart. But when I go into society, they don't see that beauty. They don't see that who intellect. Don't see it? Society. Just who, because who I'm black. Who are you referring to in society? I'm referring to the structure. Are you the talking way about the whole white system people, is set black up. people, and white people, and others? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about white people? I'm not talking I'm not about a person. Any particular no. I'm not talking person. about a person. I'm but somebody has to be the system that you're referring to. It's a to. thinking. See, we have to who understand you that referring it's to? not a people. But who are it's you referring to? thinking. And who is thinking? I'm referring to the government. The group who is thinking this way? Huh? The people who wrote our laws. Who is that? Are you talking about white people, black people, Mexican, or them all? White people. This, you talking about white Mr. people? Mr. Peterson, if I Hold may. on a minute. Hold on. i come to you. You're talking about you white people? I gave you what you're looking for, huh? No, are you talking about <laughs> white people? Yeah. I'm and, talking about anyone who wants or feeds into white supremacy in, the, in this structure. So you're talking Anybody, about whether they be and white, black, black and, and Asian, and Latino, whoever. Oh, okay. If you agree with this white capitalist, white supremacist structure, then okay, uh, that's right. for you. But if you don't agree, because there's a variety of all the races who don't agree, so as not, do agree. Oh, okay. So, Andre, you want to say something? Go ahead. Yes. Um, I wanted to say that... I don't think it's a people. It seems to be a majority of people that have this racist thinking that I must keep this race oppressed so that I can stay superior. Although, I mean, our history do show. Who are you referring to now? I, I'm, I'm telling you that it's a thinking that's and in society. And who's doing this thinking it, in it's society? Been, it's been the Caucasian race for So, so the white ages. race is, is holding you back? I, no one's holding me back because the I white race my are discriminating against you because of my yes. race. Yes, it, it's so, so and they have set up a system to where they don't have to discriminate, but us they have a system that does it. Where's my proof? Yeah. The fact that as a young black man growing up in a society, my parents had to tell me that I had to do things four times better than the Caucasian person just to survive in this country. So your but parents told you that. Hold on, but me being a person that's objective and I can I can see both sides of the coin. I go into society, I do the same thing as my fellow classmates, yet I realize that I do have to do more to get in this society. The fact that before I go on the job interview, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because my texture of hair is not what America deems job appropriate. So I have to go and cut my hair, although I believe that this is where my strength is, because I am the only person on this earth that has this kind of hair, that can have any hairstyle without doing you anything. You believe your it. hair is your strength? My, all of this is my strength. The, I have strength in here that I can't even contain. Light, and light. I think that is a reason why we have this issue with everything black people do is called a protest and outrage is because we are passionate people. Let, no, you're very angry people. Oh, would you are include you angry? yourself in that? No, I'm not angry. I, I actually was, wanted to ask I you, was, what is your nationality? Uh, I was angry like you people at one point. I'm not but, angry. But you're I was able to I'm overcome angry. it and I realized that I have been lied to. You, you guys, most black people are so angry, you're at a point now that no race like you. Okay. But not can just I, a can white I, race. Isn't that right? It's not just a I white mean, race. The Hispanic, years of racism. The, his, uh, the Hispanics don't like you. The blacks years of don't like Jim Crow. You know, I mean, constantly uh, being told that we're less than, no, yet you go and get, get Botox and tan salons and okay. all this to look like Andre. us. You perm and to your hair, the... you crochet your hair to get Andre. locked, Andre. but we're Andre. ugly. Andre, I'm just saying, down. we would have a reason to be So angry. let me ask, how do you feel knowing that most races do not like black people now because they're fed up with your bullying, they're fed up with your complaining, complaining and blaming and doing all that. You're turning off most people, 
How do you feel about that, Andre? I would have to disagree with you on that statement, seeing that the uh, No, I hear million, from them all okay, the time. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let me get my point across. You hear from them, but I see them, and I think actions are a lot better than words. When I see <coughs> black and brown doing a, a, a march on Washington, that, that's race relations well, those, right there. That's those right. radical, angry... That's, that's angry, great. Uh, when I see Asian people standing outside the White House marching with Black Lives Matter, yes, <laughs> yes. When I see people of other cultures going, you know what? See, this is what we have to do as a people. We have to wake up. What do you we want? We got to stop listening what is to it this that you rhetoric want? that's in the media. Michelle, what do you what do you people want? What do I want? Michelle, when you say you people, what do you mean? The complaining black people. Uh, blaming others for the failure of their parents and their lives, what uh, blaming others they? for whatever it is you're complaining about. What is it exactly do you want from white people? First of all, just let me take a breath. And I'm trying to find out I what want, you want. What's your nationality? American. Are you white? A black American. Oh, okay. What do you want? I need you Caucasian. Oh, you do? And why, why do you think that? Why do you um, think that? Uh, because you seem to separate yourself from, from so, us, should I say. In Put what us way? on the other side in what of way? the fence. Um, in the ways that you've specified uh, thus far. Meaning what? Tell me, give me an example and tell me what you mean. You How you mean? How do? Us. What do oh, you people, people want from white people? people? Meaning that not I'm not with yourself. you. Oh, okay, it's I got just y'all by yourself. Let right? me let me explain why I do that. What you don't know is that there are two realities in life. Mm -hmm. One is that of good, and one is that of evil. And now that I've been able to overcome evil, I don't identify with angry, evil black people. I identify with other uh, blacks and others who are on the side of good. And so that's why I say you people, because I have to divide myself or separate myself from evil and go along with good. So that's why I do that. What can, is it can, that makes us evil? I'm sorry, your anger, your blaming others for your problems, your lack of love and respect for yourself and others. Okay, well, um, that's another reason why I wanted to come on the show because it's, that has been a misrepresentation, right? We're not angry, uh, we're not pointing the finger. But you uh, are, you're actually, blaming white people for your downfall. No, we're not blaming white people for our downfall. Basically, we're just saying when, they, when the so-called emancipation proclamation was plas, passed, a certain system was also set in place to make sure so what black do you people want? didn't make it that far. What do you want at this point? I want race to be taken off applications. Why, what does that have to do with anything? I want, I want to I stop agree seeing with that. my fellow young people being shot, gunned down in the streets for carrying a can of tea and a bottle of Skittles, walking home. I, I want Which police to stop important. using illegal chokeholds to take people down and then completely getting off of it. I want our politicians and our elected officials to see the people that march in these streets that, across this nation that's saying, wait, no, this is wrong. I want people to do their jobs. I want to walk down the street and know that I'm safe. You've been brainwashed. So, no, Check this out. It's that not that we want something from white sir. people. Right? Well, what do you Want. We want to see, first of all, this fact is, yes, in L.A., right? Yes, in Chicago, that if you're black, you you're, you basically will be persecuted. Who are you referring to? I'm referring to anyone. Everyone who, who looks down upon black people, right? Who who feels that if you have darker skin, that you have a, a, a lower have status. Have you been discriminated against? Yes. By whom? By white people. What did they do to you? Tell me what happened to you. They told me that... I needed to wear my hair a certain way in order to be groomed. Who told you that? All right, a supervisor. At your job? Yeah, at a previous job. At a what? A previous job, I don't work there anymore. So you were working at this company, and you went in, you applied for the job, and you, at the time that you were applying for the job, you told them, if, okay, if you pay me X amount of dollars, I would come every day, and I will follow your rules, and you took the job, right? Is that right? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. They can't hear you. Yes. They can't hear you, Michelle. Come on. So 
when you agreed to do that job and follow their standards, their rules, you didn't mean it? Um, can yes, I, ask I why did. Her but hair you, culture you, is you, you didn't everybody mean it? has different culture. So you meant to follow their rules. Did you know about the hair deal before taking the job? No, uh, they said, right. They, they said groomed what? means groomed means you got up and you touched, you did your hair, you did your face. You're aware of your whole appearance, right? Right. And so you went in there with what, an afro or something? Something similar. What you did? What you go in there with? <laughs> with a ponytail with the afro and a little bang in the front. Oh, uh, and they say nice. no, you can't wear that ha hairstyle. They said it's just not as it doesn't look professional, right. and they they just made a recommendation, but they didn't say, oh, our rules prohibit you. But they said, oh, look, I just want to make a nice recommendation. Right, and you did did they have a right to make that recommendation? No, they didn't have a right. Did they own the company? No, they did not own the company. Who owned the company? The owner wasn't nobody owned the company. <laughs> Somebody have to own the company. Nobody. It wasn't a company. These people can't communicate. We, these are the wrong folks up here. Oh, wow. I'm not getting into real answers or anything. Um, I think you've Where gotten you some very clear. Excuse me, sir. You can guys you are not even my, communicating. I thought this was going to be like that. Can you not my intelligence <clears throat> while I'm sitting right in front of you? You asked me for clear answers. I gave you clear answers. I thought this you was going to be like that. But you guys are not even discussing. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get some understanding as to what is wrong and what we can do about the problem, but you guys won't really Okay, I can tell you, you're, and and the me, and you're focusing on the problem, but you're not I'm focusing to, on the solution, I'm right? Trying, and we'll get to and that. And you want to know what the solution would be? No, we need to find out what is the problem. Have you been discriminated against? Who discriminated against you and why? I've been discriminated well, it, against. I've been told it was the that policy that allowed the recommendation to even come in. So it's policies that are created that people have to go by that perpetrate Discrimination. Was this with a private business that you were working no, for? No, it time? was not the pr a was private it a government business. business. Yes, it was. And so the government rules are you can wear your hair any kind of way you want to? As long as it's decent. And so will you, did your supervisor approach you about your hair once you got this job? <sighs> Be more uh, specific in your in You your said question. you got this job and you did you quit the job or you got fired? Um, I quit. You quit. And you quit because of they, they recommend a different hairstyle? Uh, no, that's not the reason why I quit. Why did you quit? Uh, because I felt that I wanted more fulfilling work. So where's the racism in that? And you quit because you were not fulfilled. You said that was an example of you being discriminated against. Right, but now that's just saying, something that black people on a daily basis we fulfilled. have to work through. So I had to work sorry. through that, right? So I had to conform racism? to that. So was but it racism or you want to be fulfilled? Mr. Peterson? Wait it minute, was I'll an instance right on the job. It wasn't the, the final conclusion on the job. So you quit because you wanted to be fulfilled, not because of discrimination about your hair. Right. But you just said that was you a problem. But it had nothing to do with racism. You was not fulfilled. Why did you try to make that into racism? But it's discrimination that we face, that all black people face on a daily basis. But that you, we have to work through because it's like, okay, hey, am I going to tell them, fuck you, you made, I'm going to wear my hair the way I want to, or am I going to work this out to Michelle, the next week and make sure that I can get a you're making this up because you have not given me an example of you being discriminated against. I asked for I an example. Not valid enough like for you. Both of you are running around her. crying racism. I'm not crying yet, racism. And you haven't given me an Can example. You stop doing hold that? on. I didn't say on. racism. I said discrimination. You, you haven't given me an example. Statement. You're being discriminated against. Okay. Have you been discriminated against? Yes, I have been discriminated. And against. And who discriminated against an you? An employer discriminated against me. They asked me to cut my hair. Was it a white man or a, a white this person? This was a Caucasian people? female. Okay, and so, private job. No, Probably this is a public sector job. Okay, so you fill out the application. I filled out the application. And you said on the app that I will follow the rules if that you I pay me X amount rules. of dollars. Yes. And did you have the afro at the time? Yes, I had my afro at the time. And they still hired you? And they hired me. And so you went in and they said what to you? This that, is a white female boss, right? Yes. After okay. And this after is a government a job. a great job. And so you go into the office, she call you in. Yes. And she says what to you about your hair? She told me that I had to cut my hair, that my hair had gotten too long and looked unmanaged. Oh, okay. And what's wrong with that? A lot is wrong with that. Why? Why don't you want to look? You, I wouldn't hire you with that hair looking like that. Why? 
And it's not, it doesn't That's look my natural hair texture. It doesn't look professional. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. It doesn't look professional. Now, we're leaving. Hold on. Yeah, no, ready? I'm now, you can stay, baby, and yeah. I really don't know you. Why is she, All right. why is she bought you around? You're traumatizing them. Goodbye. Yeah, spectacle. Google me. My name is Jasmine Abdullah. I just sat here. Are you her boss or something? No, it's about black why are love. You, why are you it's pushing her love. around? You see how they're, they're, they're doing this because you're hurting them. Why are you pushing them around? You're hurting them, and you know they you're, don't know what you're, to say. You're, and you're you're, them you're, right you're boxing you're you're everything, and you know, this is not an open discussion at all. I love you. I'm not angry. I love you and I feel they, sorry for they you. Want to leave, right. but I feel really bad for you. I love you. You got a lot of self hate. Stop pushing Stop. her around. And it, and it, and it radiates Bro, you got a lot of self hate. Don't let that lady push you around. No, no lady is pushing me around no. because I feel more it's attacked about love. You, right? yeah. Is he staying well, there? I, I feel evil, attacked. He's staying there. He's staying there. He's staying there. I, no, I fight. Oh, you do. I, I, I stand in my own place. All right. We agreed to have an open conversation, not to be boxed into particular. Is this a strong woman running right now? Well, actually, I think that's probably the best woman I have. Hey, I know I should, but we're trying to do a TV show. Don't engage it. Continue. Is that a strong woman leaving? Honestly, I think that was the best decision for her to make. I think it was the best decision for her to make because she is younger than I. I'm sorry. She is younger than I. Anyway, I appreciate you coming, Andrew. I mean, Andre. Andre Shirley. Hopefully this inspired some black youth to actually get up and let their voices be heard. Apparently society will not understand if we don't just right, come and Thank you, buddy. Them. Thank you. Give me a handshake there. Thank you. No Appreciate problem, you bro. coming. All right, thank you. Guys.